In the last video, we looked at how you would control this servo motor attached to a Esprino board using this PuckJS button. But what happens if you want to send a stream of continuously changing information, like the rotation of this potentiometer, rather than a single on-off command like we were doing? So in this video, we're going to look at how you do that. So the code that I've got on um, this Esprino board on the left is literally just this. It's very similar code to what we had before, except uh, when the value is written here, we look at the data that comes out of it. We look at the very first byte, and we turn this into a number in the 0 to 1 range. And then we feed this directly into analog write. There are other ways of doing this, but analog write will output a pulse width modulated value. Um, so the number here is actually the um, the amount of milliseconds we want the pulse for. And we divide it by 20 because we're doing 20 millisecond pulses because 50 times a second is 20 milliseconds. Um, then we just disabled the UART as we did before. And finally, when the other device disconnects, we just want to um, write zero to D14 which is what we use for analog write, which will just disable the pulse width modulation and effectively turn the servo off. And then we change the name to be flag. So the code that we're going to use on the, um, on the MDBT42 module here looks like this. Again, this bit is very similar to what we had before. Um, we're literally just connecting to a device named flag and we're finding the service and finding the characteristic attached to that service. And then we just write it into a global variable and we call this function to start writing to it. So for this function, we're saying that 20 times a second, we're going to read the value of D5, which is this pin here, which is connected to the potentiometer. This will return a value between 0 and 1. So we just multiply it by 255 to turn it into a byte and then we write it to the characteristic. And the only extra things we're doing here are we're, um, we're checking to see whether we got disconnected, and if we are, we, we cancel the interval so we don't do it anymore. And we check to see if we're busy, because it may be that we're still sending the command from last time. So we just set busy to true here, and we set it to false when we're done. And that's all you need, so if I upload this now, we should see in the second it will say found, connected, got characteristic, and the flag will start to move. And now, as I rotate this, we'll see the flag updating. And it actually updates quite quickly. You may find that right at the very start of the connection it's a bit sluggish, and that's actually the power saving functionality of the Esprino board. By default, it will lower the connection interval to um, five connections a second, so 200 milliseconds, when it thinks it's not busy. But after it's received a lot of communications, it will decide to ramp up the communication speed so that it runs properly. And you can use nrf.setConnectionInterval to override that so that you always have the fastest connection speed if you want and you don't care about the power consumption of your board. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching.